course, this is easier, easier said than done. The United States as a global power, the, the most powerful nation, certainly it wants to maintain its influence, not just in the Middle East, but in many different areas of the globe. It has to also take its responsibilities very seriously. But in connection with the Arab-Israeli conflict, and in particular in connection with the Arab Spring, the United States has and will continue to face moral dilemma. Where to intervene, how to intervene, and so, and there is no clear-cut situation here. And that is, there are always political considerations. There is domestic consideration, there is consideration that um, relate to the bilateral relations between the uh, United States and those given countries. And there is uh, issues of the geostrategic situation in any given conflict where a moral issue would arise. But let me just give you one example. The United States, for example, has is, is been hesitating to intervene in, in Syria. This is, a, this, is, you know, this is what we're saying, I have been saying all along, whereas the United States cannot simply intervene in every single conflict around the globe. There are uh, situations where there's hard, you know, clear-cut situations where the United States really does not have a choice. Syria is one of those choices. Bashar Assad has been slaughtering his people for the last 17, 18 months. There's a great deal of debate and people in the United States and other European countries have been taking cover under these various discussions and various plans, none of which have worked. Now is the time for the United States to decide on a course of action that will stop Bashar Assad from continuing to massacre his people. And one of these interventions would require, for example, no-fly zone, uh, so that uh, the, and providing some kind of weapons to deal with tanks and airplanes that Bashar Assad is using against his own people. So in this particular case, intervention uh, is absolutely necessary. But again, the United States cannot have a carte blanche and go ahead and intervene. In every, in every situation, this got to be weighed very comfortably. You know, uh, if you take it back in the Arab Spring, you, you, you know, for example, the United States made different choices in concern, concerning Bahrain. Uh, there, the United States did not want to intervene directly, but again, uh, because of American interest perhaps in the region, concern over the Saudi reaction. Whereas, uh, say, if you take Libya, the uh, United States uh, intervened a bit indirectly, but the EU took uh, the, uh, a major role in um, its effort to topple the Gaddafi regime. So here again, choices are, have to be made based on the given conditions, and specifically when you have to deal with other powers like Russia or China, who have a veto power in the Security Council, and often they would impose veto or exercise their right to impose veto because they are not. They want to stop the United States from intervening unilaterally in any of these uh, conflicts. So again here, you know, choices have to be made, but I'm saying one cannot be critical, I mean uh, hypocritical about this. The United States, uh, yes, it must choose sometimes, but it must be consistent, and I repeat the word, consistent in its moral obligation to stop the killing, the massacres, the death of innocent people, and there are always measures that need to be taken in order to meet that goal.